Baby, baby, oh my god, it is you. No, no, I saw the inductee rolls this morning, and I don't know, I've been hearing things around hell about how you were doing up there, and I mean, I never wanted you to get, you know, I I, I knew this day would come, but what what do you mean? Who, who am I? Baby, it's, it's me. It, it's me. Zena? No, not Sheila. Zena. Alexander. Zena. Yes, your girl. Did you forget about me? My God, how long have I been dead? It's what? Oh, no, that makes sense. You don't recognize me in this form. Baby, I... I got turned into a succubus. Yeah, I went up to the pearly gates and I really didn't think that, you know, St. Peter, Paul, whatever, would care as much. Turns out, you know, being Jewish was already kind of a, oh, you gotta accept Jesus. Uh, but then my YouTube channel, he was like, you want a messed up story? Sent me down here. So, um, and over time, you get to select what type of demon you want to be or entity and I I didn't make the decision quick enough so they made it for me based off of my past I guess succubus made sense didn't it yeah so here we are me I'm a demon yeah so back to what I was saying hey love what oh no, that makes sense, I, I guess. Um, I understand your skepticism. Hell, evil people. Of course people would want to deceive you, but what benefit is it taking someone who's brand new to hell, doesn't know their way around, and doesn't have much to offer, and waiting for them? You know? Baby, it's me. Ask me anything you want and I can answer it. What? You can tell by my eyes? <laughs> no, I thought the same thing too. You absolutely kissed the same. So sweet. Really, a desperation in my kiss. Well, honey, I've waited in this torturous zone for so long for you. And no, that is a fair question. I am a succubus, but... I am known as the celibate succubus because the only person that I wanted this entire time was you. The only entity, the only being, the only thing that I could wrap my brain about around wanting was absolutely you. I have sat here waiting, what is it, 40, 50 years? in almost complete solitude, because to get to know anybody down here, everybody does kind of use each other to some degree. No. You see, I found this hotel that tries to rehab sinners. Have you heard of it? Oh, I don't know. I <laughs> don't know what's, uh, what everyone's talking about, you know, overworld anymore. So, yeah, no, this is girl Charlie. She's really sweet. Um, and uh, what? Yeah, no, there's another more of an incubus, I guess. I don't know what you'd call him. Um, Angel. There's a couple of different sweethearts that are there. But, yeah, just been chilling there, doing some work on the side, helping people try to find love themselves. It doesn't have to seem like such a hopeless place does it you can have a happy day in hell look over there that's bartlow's really great place to eat they have some of the best amish food which i thought i would never be able to get down here but i sure as hell have um then if you want to go read up on absolutely anything our library has well the most knowledge in the world even heaven doesn't have as much knowledge as is in our library well, think about it. The tree of knowledge that Adam and Eve ate from. its It was our idea so to get them to eat from it. So we were able to abscond with the tree. 
Yeah, Heaven got kind of upset, left it behind, so uh, Lucifer took it. So anything you could possibly ever want to know and from the past, and it even has a future section, too. Well, yeah, that's one of the whole Christian tenets, is you shouldn't be looking into the future, right? Well, we do, because, well, we're not of that, so... Oh, what? No, that's not how I knew you'd be down here. No, I stay out of all of that because, you know, trying to get rehabbed and maybe make it to paradise. But one thing came out to be true. I knew no matter what, I wouldn't actually be able to find paradise without you. In fact, when they were able to talk to some of the angels, at first they were like, no, there's no way. But then they brought forth our story. And they think that I could be rehabbed, but when I turned it down saying that I didn't want to go to heaven when I didn't know where you would end up, I definitely didn't want you to end up down here alone. What? Baby, my love, I told you I would follow you into the dark, but I would never want you to follow me. What? Yeah. No, I know. Baby, I know how I left that world. Baby, I know, and I'm... Let's not talk about such things when... We should be happy that we're finally be reunited. I can't wait to hear all about what happened to you and what you did and what? Well, no, I'm I'm happy for that. I've always wanted you to go on and have a brilliant laugh. You were so full of light. You still are. I'm sure it was difficult without me. I know I sure as hell wouldn't be able to live without you. You were the brightest thing in my life. You made it to where I didn't give up when, honestly, when I met you, I was, I was well on my way to checking out. You made me believe that there has got to be hope for some things in this world. And you made it to where I was able to get so much more accomplished. So I can't begrudge you anything but understand if you begrudge me everything in fact I guess it's not fair to try to whisk you off and bring you back to my room though all I want to do is so selfishly get my hands all over you but maybe it's all the rehab talking I should worry about what you need oh no oh she's gone too well, what's her name? No, I haven't heard of anyone like that down here. We can certainly... Well, she sounds like she probably didn't make it down to a place like this, but you, Rapscallion, for you to end up here. Well, maybe we can find a way to get you two back together. What? Well, yeah, I know this is for eternity. Baby, I wouldn't mind you choosing whatever would make you happy. If it's without me, it's without me. I just want you to be happy for all the joy you ever brought me. It's the least I could ask of you. Oh. Oh, that's tragic. Well, then no wonder you guys ended up in such completely different places. No, no, no. It's not my business to pry. I'm sure in your own time. If you want to tell me, you can. Now, I'm sure that you would like some place to sit down and be able to contemplate everything that just happened. My room is definitely open, but we could probably get you your own if you wanted some alone time. Really? No, I would love to just lay my head on your chest and listen to your heartbeat. You, um, well, you don't have to go to sleep. Oh, no. See, if we're not going to sleep, I can think of many things that I would really like to do, you know? Just gentle little ear nibbles. Mm. Soft kisses down the back of your neck. Hands going around 
your chest, drifting lower, more to the center of your stomach, grabbing you, caressing you, and just, huh? Yeah, no, 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 we should definitely go find that room. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't used my succubus powers on anyone since I got them. Just sat daydreaming of you these last 40 years. Uh, a long time, maybe for some, but when you have somebody who's so inspirational. Oh, no. I remembered every single one of your dirty fantasies and exactly what you wanted to do to me and, well, what we did together and some of the things we just never had time for. And now we have all the time we could possibly want to achieve them and um, some amazing powers we could use. Maybe we'll figure out what exactly they're going to turn you into before... Or rather, what you should turn into before they choose for you. We can use it to our advantage. Hmm? Maybe werewolf boy? Huh. <laughs> I guess that would be for more of my enjoyment. Oh, <laughs> you too. Good to know. Good to know you naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> Hey guys, Zena Alexander here. Um, today's audio, uh, there was a lot of inspiration behind it. Um, so at a very low point in my life, um, someone very special came into it. I don't want to get too deep into it, partially because of YouTube rules, but also like, I don't like to bring down other people too much, um, but they definitely gave me hope and made me able to get through an exceptionally dark period. And for that, I will be forever grateful no matter what happens to um, that relationship. Because I don't know how I would have got through it. And I don't think they realized how instrumental they were in getting me through that period of time. Um, and it really inspired me thinking about, like, you know... Um, some of my own personal struggles, which again, I don't need advice and I actually actively am declining advice on it. I am seeing a professional. We are good. Um, but I, um, it really made me think about if things were to go differently and the risks that knowing me is for, for that person. And it kind of inspired this, what would I like to say to them? And also like, that beautiful idea of if there's if there's an afterlife, if we're able to reunite, what would you say to them in that case? You know, um, so it made me think about how. And then also, I'm not gonna lie, has been hotel. I've been watching it and drew inspiration from. It'd be really cool showing some people around and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, I I really loved this idea. I love the idea that you know. Um, and I, I also thought about the idea of, like, if that person were to go on and have this life and had somebody else, how would they feel about having me around? So I wanted to leave it open-ended of what possibly happened in case I do a part two. That way I can decide later. haven't really fully fleshed that one out. Anyways, it's really hard to give the inspiration on this one and keep it uh, – keep certain information private who knows um anyways i love you guys i'm so super excited for tomorrow's 25 hour live stream i want to thank you guys so much i can't believe that we hit um <laughs> i can't believe that we hit um you know one year one year um on the fifth so we're starting when i'll stop will be the day before technically my first uh the anniversary of my first upload um Thank you guys so much for that. That actually absolutely means more than you'll ever know. Um, it blows my mind how far we've come within a year. Um, I was thinking we'd hit close to 25,000 and we got stupidly close. Um, and like I thought that like in December, um, the beginning of this year, I would I would have been surprised if we I hit a thousand. And the fact that we did that this quickly just I can't 
I cannot fully wrap my head around it. So I want to say, I, I don't want to cry. I'm going to end up crying on live stream for sure. I don't want to cry now, but um, those just are not real numbers to me. So anyways, I love you guys more than bacon, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.